Alright then my friends, so that is pretty much it for this series. You now have built your very own CSS library called Shinobi. Now if you wanted to take this and extend it yourself, add more components, you can do. Dead simple to do. I'm going to show you an example right now. And by the way, you could add more utility classes as well by diving into this map and adding them right here. You can do much more with it. We're just going to add a simple new component, which I'm going to call Badge. Dot sc oops spell this correctly b a d g e dot s c s s and then inside here i'm just going to paste in a bit of code so we use the math package which we've seen before and we have a badge mixing which takes in a background color for the badge now a badge is like a little bubble on a page normally you see it for notifications next to your mail icon so say you might have new mail or something like that so this badge takes in a background color as an argument and by default, it's the info color. Now, remember, we have the info color over here at the top, which is kind of like a yellow color, but you can override it by passing your own in. We give it a border radius of the base border radius and times it by four, a background color of whatever we pass in. We give it some padding, which is using the math package, is taking the base padding right here and dividing it by four. And that's for the up and down direction, the Y axis. And then for the X axis, we take the base padding and divide it by two. The font size is the font size small and the font weight is going to be normal. All right, so now we have a badge class, right, which includes this badge mixing it doesn't pass in a color so if we just use this badge without some kind of color variation it's going to be that info color but then what we do is cycle through the colors using the each loop we grab the key and the value and we generate color variations of each badge so badge hyphen primary badge hyphen secondary etc and we take in that mixing the badge one and we pass in the value which is going to be the value of the color that we're currently cycling through okay and all it does then is change the background color of each badge cool so then let's try this i'm going to go to the html file over here and down where we have our work Let's scroll to the work section um, inside the h3 what i'm going to do is paste in a bit of html now it's a span but it could be something else i've used span so it sits next to this and we give it a class of badge hyphen orange so we're using a color variation and the text is going to be white and we give it a margin to the left as well and inside that badge we just say new so let's see what this looks like in the browser i'm going to open it up with the live server bring it over here and we can't see it at the minute we can just see some random text so let's see if this is compiled correctly i'm just going to go to our sas file and make a change so we can see that compile and okay it's still not worked and that's because we've not imported this badge file so we need to go to the index and we need to import it down here totally forgot to do that school by error so let's place the badge right here and then if we make a change to this and save it it's going to recompile and now if we bring this over you can see this badge right here so dead simple to make new components so my friends definitely try to extend this library definitely show me how you've done as well if you've added new components definitely leave a link to your github repository for your version of this library i'd love to see it